What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys. Uh, yesterday, Yoruba land was shut down yesterday as Oduduwa Republic carried out massive campaign to sensitize the people about the Oduduwa Republic. And in fact, uh, just recently, a survey was carried out, and in that survey, it was estimated that more than 50% of Nigerians don't believe in the entity called Nigeria again. They don't believe. They are not patriotic about Nigeria again because of what is going on. Headsmen, bandits, Boko Haram, and all of that. And because of the corruption going on in the country, it's, it has been estimated that more than 50%. But guess what? I think the number is uh, more than that. That number may be nearing even up to 70% because even in the north, even in the north, they are now calling for restructuring now. Arewa Consultative Forum are calling for restructuring that this country should be restructured because they have looked at the security apparatus in the country have failed. And the only thing that can salvage the situation of this country today is restructuring. You see, but some people are not believing in the restructuring anymore. The time is over. They want to secede away from Nigeria. You know, I hope you know the, 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 the country, Nigeria, stopped being a country that was 2013, 31, 31st of December. That was when the amalgamation actually ended. Amalgamation started in 1914, you know, and ended in 19 uh, in 2018 so everybody have the right this country have a right to to negotiate you get in fact nothing like negotiation so you have a right to secede away from nigeria because when when uh, uh lord Luga brought about the amalgamation he did not contact every ethnic group whether to become one nigeria no group was, you know, contacted, you know, no ethnic group was contacted. So it was a forceful and holy alliance. But today, people are more wiser. The Yoruba are even doing this thing more than even any, any other region in the country. Look at the way they are carrying out. You're going to watch the video. You see the way they are carrying out massive campaign. All by themselves, this is voluntary. They are doing, so they are they all might. You see them with speaker and mic going all around the street preaching. And in, you know what I've observed? You're going to notice the police did not do them anything. The police actually stopped them, you know, uh, tried to get some information and later let them go. But if this were to be in the southeast of then, you know, prior to the Operation Python, that they would have opened fire on them. You see the way IPOB carried out peaceful protests in the past, how they were killed. And but today, looking at it now, you discover that those days are long gone. Those days are gone and uh, things have changed. And now, from the look of things, the security agencies now, uh, it appears they've been tamed. You know, they've been tamed because of what is happening lately in the southeast, another part of the country. And yet, but some of them have not learned any lesson. So the best thing for this country now is either restructuring or they say, see, they will let all the regions go their way and protect themselves because what is coming into this country right now is more than what this country can face. You know, Abdul Salami estimated that more than 30 million arms have infiltrated the country. 30 million ammunition have infiltrated into the country. So nobody knows in the next one year time what is going to happen. So it's better for every region to protect themselves. So I want to watch this video and then I'll be back with more analysis. Koiki Media bring you the world closer to your doorstep. On our way to Shagam for a mega rally that is is holding there. The Nigerian police force stopped us and they said we should hold on until they confirm some information. Although we are yet to know the kind of information they want to confirm. But we are there distributing our flyers, doing our peaceful rally at that place. All we are clamoring for is our independence. Yoruba Dajuro, Yanja, it's a Podlori lady in Nigeria. I will believe in Nigeria. I did say, Oh, I'm going to say to your cash. So, I'm a power car, even though you know, I'm a rat, you got to. 
So live there now. Now they say we can go, so they free us. What do you do? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? Uh, this is Odudua. These guys are serious. You've seen the seriousness. They are doing it. They are carrying a massive campaign to sensitize your people. And uh, right now, if you are still there, you believe in Nigeria, you get, you don't believe in Nigeria. Can you state categorically why you still believe in hope in this country? Or if you are there and you don't believe in Nigeria, what are the very things that make you not to believe in Nigeria? And looking at it very well, um, do you think that these agitators are really going to succeed at the end of the day? Or do the World Republic are fixed? I think June. Is it going to be June? I think June 12th. Probably June 12th to be a date for their referendum. You know, so who knows how far they've gone in the international uh, scene? How maybe they have already concluded uh, issues with the international community to host 
a referendum on June 12, the day Abiola was actually killed. So nobody knows, but let's uh, suffice it to say here that the Yorubas are most serious in carrying out very serious sensitization in Oduduwa Republic to sensitize it more than any other uh, region. So what do you guys think? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Crown TV. God bless you.